And the gloves are off once again with Ray Boom Boom Mancini. I'm your co-host Steve K9 Kim. We're here from Hollywood Smoke in Santa Monica. Ray, our game took a loss a couple of weeks ago. It really something that was stunning. Promoter extraordinaire Dan Goosen passed away at the age of 64, complications from liver cancer. What were some of your remembrances of Big Dan? Well, I, I knew Danny when I first came out here. I met him in 1985, and he's just, as everyone knows, he's just a big, lovable guy. He was, he was everything good about boxing. I'm telling you, he was a, he was a promoter's promoter. He created the buzz. You know, he was big. He was as big as the event, mm -hmm. and he, you know, he talked big. He walked big. He lived big. Uh, he made. He loved his fighters. He took care of his fighters. He made try to give them the best fights, make them the most money for the for the best fights. Uh, I used to play basketball with Danny too, uh, you know, at the West Side YMCA here in uh, West LA, and he was a hell of an athlete. And we, you know, it just he was just a great guy. He was a good athlete, and he was he was he was a better friend, and uh, always had something funny yeah. to say. He he kept things lively. And it's a, it's a big loss for boxing. Yeah, he had the best collection of sports coats ever. He had every color in the rainbow. It was uncanny. And the thing that I liked about Danny, and, and I think he's underrated in this regard, look at the guys he promoted, from the Strongbow brothers to Randy Shields yeah. to Frankie Duarte to Michael Nunn to Lance Whitaker to James Tony to Andre Ward. The guy truly was a Hall of Fame promoter. The Rellis brothers. He yes, started absolutely. them from nothing. He, they came from Mexican kids who came from Mexico, didn't speak the language, and they were hanging out at his gym. He took them, literally took them under his wing and would became a second parent to these kids and raised them. When I met them, they were teenagers. And, and look what he did with them. He did a great career with them. And, and I just, he, he was. He was, a, he was a promoter extraordinaire. And he was fun. And the thing that I liked about him from a promotional standpoint, he could take a guy from zero and zero with a lot of natural ability, Michael Nunn, take him to the top, or he could do reclamation jobs like Glenn Johnson, took him yeah. to the top, and he rescued James Tony, which yes. I think may yes, have been did. his absolute masterpiece. Then obviously Andre Ward took him from not the greatest style in the world or greatest character to being one of the best fighters in the world. I think that speaks volumes of Dan well, Goosen. Absolutely. And look, when Ward came out of the amateurs, every promoter wanted him. Dan Goosen won him. You know, got got you know, won the contract. So he obviously had a, a, not only a uh, pers personality and, and he had a general interest, but he did his job very well. Dan Goosen, rest in peace at age 64. He will never be forgotten. That's it for this segment of Gloves Off. This is Steve Kim on behalf of Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Till we see you again. Goodbye, everybody.